Hello and welcome to another video on sorting algorithms. This time we're going to be looking at bubble sort. This is for anybody studying computer science, whether it's IGCSE, IB, O level or A level. So what is bubble sort? Well, it's a simple way of sorting numbers by repeatedly swapping two next to each other if they are in the wrong order. It keeps doing this until everything is sorted. So it's taking pairs. So for example, here the seven and the four are in the wrong order, so it would swap them round and then move on to the next pair. So look at the first two numbers. If the first is bigger, then swap them. So four is so the seven and the four swap. Move to the next pair and do the same. So it, the seven and the three, we would swap them. Keep doing this until the biggest number reaches the end. So we're going to be swapping, swapping, and swapping until the eight, in this case, reaches the end. Repeat the process, but now ignore the last sorted number. Keep doing this until everything is in the right order. So once we've sorted it, we've done one pass, so to speak. They still might be in the wrong order. The eight will be at the correct at the end, but we might need to do a second pass and possibly even a third pass, okay, to ensure that all the numbers are correct. So let's have a look at this. Here I've arranged several rows, several columns of, um, of toy blocks, but at the moment they're in the wrong order and we need to swap them around to get them into the correct order. And here I've just numbered the blocks so we can see how many are in each column. But as I said before, the largest number bubbles to the end of each pass. This process repeats until everything is sorted. So let us begin. The first two stacks contain five and eight blocks. Okay, so they're okay. Five is smaller than eight, so it will stay in the same place. But when we move on, the next two, eight and four, these need to swap positions. Okay, it's the same when we do three and eight. Okay, here we go. Eight is still the tallest, so we're going to be swapping the eight with the six, and then we're going to be swapping the eight with the seven until eight, yeah, the biggest number um, in the stack, and it will continue to change places in this first pass until it reaches the end. We're then going to work on the second pass. Okay, and as you can see here, the five and the four are in the wrong order, so these need to be swapped. So four will become the first number. The five and the three are then compared. Okay, but again, these are in the wrong order, so they get swapped. But as you can see here, five, six, seven, and eight are now all in the correct order, and these don't need to be moved. So a third pass should swap the four and the three into the correct order. We still need to go through the pass and check that these are in the correct order before we can call it a sorted finish stack. But that is basically how it works. We just swap pairs of blocks, pairs of numbers, until we get them in the correct ascending order. Okay, it might take several passes as you've just seen there. So let's have a little look at an exam question. Okay, using bubble sort, on this array, 7, 14, 11, 8, and 9, um, sort the values from left to right in an increasing ascending order. So it will go from 7 to 14 in this case. What does the array look like after the first pass, after the first run through? Okay, so I'm going to put the answer in the comments below. I'm also going to ask it on the question forum for you to fill in. But where would you go from here? 7 and 14 in the correct order. 14 and 11 would need swapping. Then what would we have here? Then where would we go here? After the first pass, would they be in the correct order? Okay, I'll let you work that out. Okay, a nice short video. Just to conclude, bubble sort is slow. If you get this as an exam question, one of the features of bubble sort, it is very, very slow, hence the tortoise. Bubble sort moves step by step, swapping one pair at a time. It takes a long time to reach the finish line, to reach the end, compared to faster sorting methods. It's easy to understand, but not efficient for large lists. Other sorting algorithms, such as, and we'll talk about these in future videos, quick sort or merge sort are much faster. Bubble sort teaches how sorting works and helps build problem solving skills. Okay, even slow solutions can be useful in the right situation. There is another video on how we would do this in Python, um, using loops, and I will also share the link to that below. But that's it for now, so thank you very much indeed. Please check your answer, see if you've got it right, and I will see you for the next video. Bye for now.
Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.